boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. I got something to tell you I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling author Mickey D with The Scoop. I'm with the executive vice president of, <laughs> I didn't say all that, Sam, with uh, Bloom. Sam is, uh, they sell, uh, the, the industry itself has been, uh, the vaping industry has been kind of in the spotlight here the last uh, few days, a uh, few, uh, last month or so with the deaths and stuff. And I wanted to get uh, Sam's perspective here. We're in Los Angeles, I'm at the convention, and uh, we wanted to get his take on, on what's going on with the vaping industry. Thank you for joining me today, course, Scoop Sam. Sam. And uh, we appreciate it. And what's, what exactly uh, has the effect had on you guys, Sam? So, as all vaping companies across the country have reflected a little, at least a dip in sales, um, ours dip, but they're, it's not as drastic as everyone's making it out to be. Um, as far as the actual problem with vaping, uh, I actually read a couple of articles from two differing news websites, CNN, Fox News, mm -hmm. both had different uh, articles that's, that came out this week actually and said that a lot of the vaping related illnesses and deaths have to do with the vitamin E compound that mm -hmm. people are making bootleg THC cultures or something. That, uh, that bootleg, uh, I believe if uh, if they can rule that out, I think you think this will be short lived. You think? Of, how do you, what do you think about that? I think it'll be short lived. I think that obviously there needs to be some more regulations on any company that just can come out and say, "Hey, we're making a vape cartridge." But I think that those particular cases were either, excuse my language, really shitty startup companies that didn't really care about the customer, the end user, which we're not. We care about the end user. That's what we started for. Um, one of, our, one of our partners actually went through uh, a lot in his life, and CBD, don't want to say it, so uh, CBD helped him a lot. And so that's where the entire idea of our company was started. Um, and uh, as far as bootleg goes, there just needs to be more regulation on what people actually put into their body. Um, as far as just random, because I, I believe a lot of these illnesses have to do with people under the age of 25. Yeah, young, right. Right. Young, so that needs to be looked at a little more. And it might, I don't want to go into the whole parenting thing, but that might have something to do along those lines. Like, what are your kids taking uh, big THC cartridges that some guy made in his bathroom and putting them in their bodies for? It's crazy. That wouldn't necessarily, Sam, mean more. Uh, labeling for you guys, right, or more regulations in in the form of like like your products, right? I mean, like as far that. as our products go, I believe that our products are above the standard of what the normal regulation would be when it comes to our industry as far as CBD, our industry as far as vaping, our industry as far as our edibles, our industry as far as our pre rolls. Um, we go above and beyond to label. We go above and beyond to get extra certifications. We go above and beyond to uh, link our lab reports to our UPC codes and to our QR codes. We do an excellent job in that, and that's a multi-layered process. We actually have something that, that's a whole job is to make sure that we are compliant with everything we need to be compliant with, and then a little bit extra. Yeah, I'm glad to see a lot of the companies have, have uh, compliance officers or compliance leader. Correct. That's really been and I'm glad to see you guys uh, are on top of that. Uh, tell me something, how the flavor uh, of the conference, the flavor of the expo uh, this year, has Los Angeles been good to you? It's actually my first time in LA, and yeah. the weather, I'm from Miami, the weather is incredible. Um, yeah, it's blown away. really, really nice. And the city's yeah. incredible. Um, yeah. The actual conference, very cool. I did a quick walkthrough uh, the first day, and this is the last day. I just finished doing that as well. Everyone's really nice, everyone's really friendly, the community is great here, and uh, I can't wait to come back. Well, thank you, Sam. You said a lot. Sam with Bloom, uh, lab.com. Catch in there. Sam.
we want to thank you for coming on, sure. for being on the scoop today. We're going to give him a free copy of Make Money Online with Cannabis Stocks, where we list over 40 stocks, and we also have a strategy in there that he would be able to use for the rest of his life. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Use this, yo. Buy this. There you go. Do it. Thank you. Have, have a great day. God bless you.